do you want? I want to see. Go forth. Your faith has saved you. There is so much more going on here than a healing miracle. There is more going on here than the recovery of sight. The guy asked Jesus to see. He wanted to better see what was before him. So in a way, you could say that he was asking Jesus to become more aware of what was before him. Because awareness is not mere sight. When you're aware, you're not just seeing things the way, the way a, uh, a mindless video camera sees things. You know, a video camera just takes everything in, it takes in all the data, but nothing else really happens. But with awareness, you are seeing, recognizing, understanding, and caring about what it is that's before you. So it's one thing to have your eyes open at the end of the day while you're outside. It is quite another thing to actually watch the sunset. You know, to take time to appreciate that singular moment of beauty. In just the same way, it is one thing to go to a party, sip your soda, and absently listen to your friend vent about their work. It is quite another thing to realize and recognize that your friend is hurting, to listen to their every word and let them know that you are paying attention. In that case, you're aware that your friend is sharing something personal and important with you. It's more than mere sight. What do you want? I want to see. Go forth, your faith has saved you. So what does it mean to see with faith? Well, simply put, it means being aware of God present in your life. It means praying to the Father, knowing that our prayers are indeed heard. It means recognizing Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. And it means hearing the Holy Spirit speaking to you in the quiet of your heart. The man said, I want to see, and he said it with faith. He wanted to see God at work in the world. And it's kind of funny, you don't actually need eyes for that kind of sight. So I don't know, maybe some of you could use a, uh, a visual image, kind of a uh, uh, mental picture, analogy sort of thing. So imagine it like this. That simple passive sight, again, kind of like a video camera, just taking in information, it's like having a BB gun. You can aim it any direction, it doesn't really matter. Left, right, up and down, it's all good. You can even turn it back and aim it at yourself if you want. I don't recommend that. You'll poke your eye out, kid. <laughs> Couldn't resist, sorry about that. Uh, in that case, awareness or sight plus faith is a target, all right? It's something to focus on. It is more important than the rest of your surroundings. When you see with faith, you're recognizing what is truly important, and it lets you know where your energy and your effort should be aimed at. It gives us purpose to aim for, and it keeps us from wandering around aimlessly. Uh, for the record, that analogy comes by way of Bishop Fulton Sheen, one of my heroes. Uh, what he was saying, he was talking about the importance of purpose in life. And he said, if you give a boy a BB gun and a target, he's not likely to get into a whole lot of trouble. Give a boy a BB gun but no target to go with it, he's likely to shoot out the window of the school. I've never owned a BB gun, or any other gun for that matter. That makes sense to me. All of us have a tendency to get into the most trouble in life 
when we've somehow lost sight of what we're supposed to be doing in the first place. Awareness, sight plus faith, whatever you call it, it's about more than sight. It's about being aware. It's about recognizing, understanding, and caring about that which is truly important. That is what the guy in the gospel reading was asking for help with from Jesus. And none of us are perfect in this way. Every single one of us has failed to recognize, understand, or appreciate something right in front of our noses. But nevertheless, we are called to continually see the world through the eyes of faith. Because God's presence really is all around us. Our blessings are practically infinite. And so often, we take them for granted. We fail to appreciate them, or recognize them, or understand them somehow. And likewise, our opportunities to do good are practically infinite. And so often, we, we stand aside hoping that someone else will do the work. So brothers and sisters, let us ask Christ for all the help we need today to always be grateful and recognize his presence in our lives and to always see the world through the eyes of